My thoughts on owning a cruiser now. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. It's just freezing out here. It's like in the 30s. But I tell you, you want to warm your hands up, just put your hands on the exhaust. Warm them right up. Investments. I love my CBR 1000 RR and my WR, which I still, the WR 250R is probably the most fun you can have on a motorcycle because you can hit the streets and uh, off road. I love that. Provides a cardio workout, more skill involved. But riding out here on the streets and just cruising and chilling while you're riding, I'm telling you, it's awesome having a, a lightweight cruiser like this that has a ton of power. Just crank that through. <laughs> you crank this bright, guys. And it's like you hold on for dear life. I love that feeling. You get that with this bike, man. And oh my goodness, it hits twisties like nothing. You could the turn and feel on this bike is amazing. The power is just off the charts. Way better than that uh, Harley Davidson Breakout, the 2015 model that I rode. Oh man, night and day. Now this is a real cruiser right here, guys. Amazing. <laughs> you gotta be careful with the throttle. I'm in sport mode and I'm staying in sport mode, guys. You should be able to control the power with your throttle hand. You don't need the rider modes. But I love the, I love the uh, feet forward controls on this bike, and uh, I love I just it's so comfortable, man. And I, it's got all the power on tap that I need, so it's I love having a cruiser now. This is amazing. I probably won't even want to ride my CBR 1000 R anymore because <laughs> this bike is it's just like laid back, chill, and ton of power can hit the twisties. It's got everything you can want for a street bike seriously guys if you want it's got the power there it's got the 40 degree lean angle and it's just i love owning a cruiser now hey cycle cruiser finally has a cruiser and loves cruisers how about that it wasn't until this bike though none of them other cruisers out there really appealed to me that that much that's why i never really pulled the trigger on a cruiser in the past yeah, I talked about the uh, the uh, Suzuki Boule uh, Boulevard M109R, but it's so heavy, 700 and something pounds. And then you got the uh, the VMAX. That sucker's sitting at, what, like almost 700 pounds or something like that. It's got all the power, but it's just so heavy. And, um, and it doesn't look that good. None of them look that awesome to me. Um, but this bike, it's got the looks. It's got the power, it's got the comfort, uh, it has, you can have fun in the twisties. Man, I could go, I tell you, I feel like going to ride to California right now and hit the twisties, guys. <laughs> I tell you, if I, I may travel one day, go across the country, it'd be on this bike for sure, man. This is just awesome. And not having a windscreen or anything, it makes no difference at all. I don't know why people complain about that. It makes no sense. I told you guys that though on my WR250R. It never bothered me at all. I'm only a buck 80 on a good day. And a six foot one on this bike. The wind does not throw me around. I've never had a problem. So I don't know why you guys complain about that. Yeah, stay here. Man, I can smell a skunk. It's got that skunk funk around here. It's as long as it ain't spraying me. <laughs> but I'll tell you guys that I just pray that this bike is reliable. That's that's all I worry. If this bike stays reliable, I may keep this long term. But I'll try to keep an extended warranty on it because from what I hear, you know, own a Ducati without a warranty is like is like uh, having sex with a Tijuana hooker with no condom. <laughs> not a smart choice 
Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. But a lot of people say this bike is pretty reliable, man. I'm, I'm going to keep it stock. Um, I don't even want to change out the Termi exhaust on this bike because, uh, I mean, change to a Termi exhaust because I, I actually, I like the stock sound. It's a low rumble. It's not loud. Uh, the Termi, in my opinion, is a little bit too loud, if that's even possible. But, uh, so I don't know. And $2,800, that's steep, man. It's like I can almost buy me a, a track bike for that price. I mean, come on. But, uh, yeah. Thumbs up to a cruise, this cruiser. The Techno Cruiser. I don't know about the mother cruisers out there, guys. I felt comfortable on that Harley Breakout when I test rode it. It is really comfortable. Feels like I'm sitting in an easy chair. But it wasn't enough power, man. It didn't feel right. It, like I said, my Chinese scooter felt faster. Okay, off the line. Oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, I'm telling the truth man I tell you I, I, no BS with my motor vlogs guys I keep it real and I love this bike has uh, self canceling turn signals so you guys can't clown on me I, it's got everything man feet forward controls I'm just chilling just enjoying the ride and got power on tap can hit the twisties Oh man, it's it's awesome having you know three three different totally feel bikes though. I have the CBR 1000 double R. I'm keeping that bike and my WR 250R completely different bike and then this bike's completely different bike. But yet it still feels sporty and it has the power better than the liter bike down low it's got stronger it's got that 95 uh, pounds feet of torque at 5,000 rpm 156 horsepower at 9500 rpm this bike has got nearly probably as much power as my cbr 1000 double r has and the, the weight of the bike even though it's 545 pounds it still feels uh, light because it has a lower center of gravity. The weight's lower down low. And it turns like nothing. It's like, honestly, guys, honestly, I love it. I love having a cruiser now, man. I, I, I put, it's going to be tough to get on my CBR 1000 double R. I'm like, man, I want to get on the comfort cruiser, guys, with all the power. <laughs> Got that, that sexy big 240 rear tire. Looking all pretty. These rims. Got my infotainment system where I can connect my smartphone to this. It tells me when a phone call or text is coming through. It's got everything, man. Throw on the cruise control. Thumbs up to owning a cruiser. I love it. This cruiser, I don't know about the other cruisers. I'm sure they're probably great for other people, but this is perfect for the sport bike lovers. This is the cruiser for you sport bike lovers. I'm telling you guys. You're going to have to break the bank open though. Because this bike isn't cheap. But maybe you can get a sick deal like I got. I paid $14.8. But anyways. For those of you that want to get my gear. My camel pants. My high vis gloves. My, this awesome winter jacket that's keeping me warm here. Camel pants. Everything. I always include links in the description and comment section of this video. Uh, or you can go to my website cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and those are links to all of my gear Or uh, if you want to see more of my videos click on the menu tab my videos And those are playlists to all of my over a thousand plus videos to help you navigate through them easier and uh, Hey hit thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps my channel when you hit thumbs up It helps me get motivated to do more videos and to share this with your friends and tell all of them you skip you don't need the super sport super bikes anymore guys we got the techno cruiser x diavo it's got all better power than the super sports for the street because it's got that strong low-end power 
this is all you need, baby. <laughs> Check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, that showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything, Bug Out Moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.